What's up, Pisces? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your mid, I'm not mid, I'm sorry, first half of February 2022 energy check-in. So we are going to get a general spread and clarify that and then get your love, finances, as well as the spiritual lesson involved for the first half of this month, okay? So without further ado, because I know y'all been waiting a couple days, <laughs> let's go ahead and get this energy, Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides to the Highest White Light. Please use me as a vessel of clear, concise, channel messages for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the week, not, uh, for the first two weeks of February. What's coming in for Pisces for the first through the 14th of February? Okay, so some of you guys seem to be ignoring some divine guidance that's coming to you is what I'm getting here. Um, you could be in a situation where um, it definitely doesn't serve you. It could be people around you that are, oh boy, I don't know. I mean, the five of swords is never a good energy. That That's basically like being surrounded by your enemies. That's basically thinking that you have people around you that have your back, but they really don't, okay? The Five of Swords is a very petty, very, um, very petty, very mind game playing type of energy. You get what I'm saying? It's the type of person that wants to win at all costs. You have been getting signs that you around these type of people, Pisces, but you haven't been following the guidance that you've been getting. So pretty much it's like you ignoring red flags. Okay, this can definitely be somebody that's around you. I do want to state that as a disclaimer. It's your responsibility as an individual to place the energies where they go. As this can be a different, it can be different roles for each Pisces, okay? For some of you, it's going to be the way I tell it. For others of you, it's going to be the other way around. But since it's less convenient for me to tell it both ways, please place yourself how you go. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, the four of Michael. Yeah, some of you guys really need to get some rest, meditate for the first two weeks because I do feel like you're being guided to move forward somehow. You're being guided to either travel, move forward, move on. I feel like you have some type of exciting new beginning that you're not embracing. Um, for some of you, you being led towards the emperor energy, a very like responsible serious energy like whenever i see the emperor that's somebody that's serious they serious about their role as a father serious about their role as a husband serious about their role as a boss serious about their role as the man in your life okay so for you feminine uh pisces that's the thing you guys are uh divinely being divinely guided towards an emperor but i feel like you guys are being hesitant to take a leap of faith here and it could be because there's people around you, okay? And these can even be people that already played games with you in the past. Now, I don't know if they coming back in apologizing and you are taking them back into your life, forgiving them or whatever the case is, thinking that they've changed. Or if you just stand in this environment and you looking at it like, okay, everybody can change, so I'm just going to stick where I'm at. But you truly trying to be guided out of a situation is what I'm getting. So once again, I feel like you guys are ignoring red flags. So, um, you know, that's what's coming up for the first two weeks. All right. It's saying that it's light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. And it's like you guys are not really seeing that clear picture. And it's because, um, you know, you haven't gained the insight. So maybe you doubt in your own judgment. And that's why spirit is trying to provide you with some type of insight. But they asking you at this time to like be in the zone, meditate, pray about the answers that you seek because again you might be confused about, around people that have already played mind games confused you uh tricked you sabotaged you whatever the case is like i said this energy is coming in they could possibly they, they could have already came in or they could be coming in in the first two weeks of february to apologize for the things that they did in the past but you're not being guided to be back in these people life okay that 
that reuniting could have been simply for you know you to be able to close the door with the closure that you need so that you can move on because i feel like spirit got a whole new path lined up for you that you can be completely ignoring because you know you think that when somebody come back and apologize that that means that they supposed to be back in your life when that's not the case here okay at least not in this reading <laughs> So, I mean, that don't mean that you have to hold a grudge or anything against this person or these this group of individuals. But it definitely means that you need to uh, use that as a tool to be able to move on with clarity, okay? Alright, so let's get some clarification for Pisces as it pertains to the spread spirit. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. Definitely people that disappointed you in the past. I feel like you're being guided to actually turn down any new love offers from past people. Especially if they were on this tip. Now, of course, if things didn't end badly and it ended in some kind of mutual way and growth has actually been exemplified, then that's one thing. But if you haven't saw somebody since they, they did something to truly, truly hurt you, sabotage you, and in the past... They definitely didn't feel bad about it, okay? Because I see the Five of Swords as somebody that don't feel bad about it. Things could have actually backfired on these individuals, and that could be the only reason why, or this person, okay? Because this person, yeah, they could have been the main source of some type of instability or something that happened in your life here. Now this person want to come back in bringing harmony. Um, I, f I don't even feel like this person is offering you love. I feel like they're offering you friendship or a business partnership or this person is coming in trying to offer you love to get your mind off of something that could be better, more harmonious and that, you know, with somebody that can actually put in an effort with you. Like I said, <laughs> With this Emperor and this Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck, it definitely can be like a new exciting venture with the Emperor or it can be a, a business partnership. Okay, this person is a karmic. That's what happens. Uh, they played games with you. They thought it was funny, haha, -ha, and all of that back then. And then it's like whatever happened, either you overcame the obstacles that they put in your way or you... um. You know, either you overcame it, you definitely overcame it, and they possibly had to go through what they tried to put you through as well, or what you might even went through at the hands of these people, playing mind games and keeping you confused, okay? So, like I said, they're coming back, they're offering a friendship, they might even want to start some type of collaboration or have a hand in your work, um, and that's what you being divinely guided to not do, okay? If they sabotaged anything about you in the past, they may be trying to come in and make it seem like they just want to make it right. So let's say they sabotaged your work. They may be coming in with an opportunity like, okay, well, I got a better opportunity for you, though, to replace the one that I messed up for you. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about it. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles, this person is coming in for an exchange. It's like, yeah, you know, if you give me this, I'll give you that. And so, again, I do feel like these people want to work with you, but at what, what cost? All right, what else is coming in for Pisces? All right, so that's the truth because the Ace of Swords is coming out. They're coming in to try to replace something, give you back something that they took, all right? Something that you invested in them before, they're trying to invest back in you. They're trying to welcome you or they want to be welcomed into your world in some kind of personal way. But I feel like this person's aim always and forever will be and even if it isn't their aim, okay? Let's say this person coming in with honest intentions this time. Because of the karma that this person has caused their own life by sabotaging something for you, um, they put you in a position where you will opt out of your legacy, okay? And we keep getting this energy. Like, I feel like that's a consistent thing, especially with water signs. Y'all got people that did y'all wrong in the past trying to come back when you got a new opportunity to go somewhere where the grass is going to be greener. They trying to keep you stuck in a place where the grass is not going to be greener. Where you're going to stay in a perpetual state of repeating a cycle because every single time things get better, this person resurfaces. Or, you know, it doesn't matter. Even if this person only done this one time to you, if they do it again this time, they'll come back again once you overcome it. So understand that some people are just here to keep us in cycles. And I feel like this is that person, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like things have already been on hold for you. Whatever you've been trying to attain as it pertains to some type of generational wealth, this person has completely slowed up for you. They made it... You, they made it very difficult for you to even get to the place that you are now of being able to try to overcome this. And now they're trying to come in and pretty much um, 
playing on your independence because I'm seeing with the six of pentacles and the three of pentacles here that's the nine of pentacles so this person definitely and you see how this person is targeting you see what I'm saying like this person have a mission with you and I feel like you a target to them this is somebody that studies you they study you they know what you want they know what will make you give in and so yeah this person may come in like expressing certain things they may truly be sorry about the things that they did in the past because it could have caused them a great deal of, misfort of misfortune as well as a result of their actions. But at the same time, I feel like you were target for this person. They know you're seeking honesty and clarity from them. It's like they want to continue to keep your Ten of Pentacles at bay. Let's get one more for Pisces. This is not going to be something that can last. This is not going to be, yeah, I'm telling you, it's like, this person is like, and I feel like it was their plan all along, and they was just hoping and praying that it was going to work out. This is the type of person that will mess things up for you and then come in like they saved the day. You didn't save the day if you the one that messed it up. You just the cleanup crew. You know what I'm saying? You coming in to clean up what you messed up. You know what I'm saying? So whoever this person is, it's like they coming in, but they coming in as an energy that's trying to stop you from moving forward. This is that last minute, hey, wait, don't move on. Hey, wait, don't relocate. Hey, wait, don't get into that new relationship. You still have unfinished business with me. Here's the deal. Let I know I messed things up for you in the past. I know this. I know. But... What if I told you I had this opportunity to make it better to help you attain the Ten of Pentacles that I made you lose before or that I stopped you from getting or that I put delays on or that I sabotaged for you? Is that a deal? Like, that, 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 that don't sound like a deal to me. Like, but are you guys aware of that, Pisces? Because like I said, I feel like you ignoring red flags straight up. Okay? So make sure and be careful. Not everybody that come back from the past apologizing is meant to come back. It's meant to be that sense of like, okay, good. You know, I'm glad you got a heart. I'm glad that you learned a lesson. I'm glad that we learned what we are supposed to learn from each other. Now, have a nice life. But because this person has caused themselves so much backlash and misfortune, it's like they want to rub, come and rub that off on you because it's saying that you will continue to lose with this individual. You'll continue to lose. Okay, when they saying that they coming in trying to take the baggage off of you, you know, trying to trying to take off the burdens, trying to take the brunt of the burdens that they caused off of you, coming in to offer you a love offer, but you already got somebody here that's a match for you. This person's only this person's only plan is to really keep you in a disappointed state, keep you feeling rejected, because rejection begots more rejection if they put you in an energy of feeling like you are a reject then you'll start to perpetuate that energy or you'll start to manifest that energy in other areas of your life okay so why is the three of pentacles here this did a somersault yeah you got a choice you definitely do and with the number 22 here the master number 22 i'm definitely getting that you guys learned a valuable lesson about yourself as it pertains to whoever this person is in your life so you have a choice you definitely do and i mean i don't see darkness on one side but i definitely see less light so here's my my thing this person could even be coming in with honest intentions but they just don't really know how much karma is over their life right now to the point where they would sabotage your life just by being around you so they may not know that but that's the honest to god truth okay why is the six of pentacles here this person can actually be coming in to offer you genuine love this time around but it's like you can't get your mind off of the disappointment that they caused you in the past so you at, you being asked to review this with the courthouse here. I feel like this person is looking for somebody to balance out their life because they going through court situations with a family, about a home, about assets. Let's see. Let's get one more on courthouse and family room. Yeah, they going through court situations. 
and they be, they may be asking you to be there for a specific thing in their life that's going on. You know, like if if I'm here for you on this or if I offer you this, like will you be there for me? Um, I don't know, y'all. This could be that one person that we've been picking up is going to jail. Why is adjudication and court out here? What is the subject about? Oh, gosh, an actual death, okay? A death or ending of a connection. Community in reverse, okay? So this could be this person leaving behind a family member or it could be a death of a family member that they actually got money from, okay? They could have got some type of will and inheritance and they could be facing challenges as it pertains to actually being able to get that. Maybe they breached some type of um, contract as it pertains to, you know how sometimes there'll be stipulations to... You know, if you can get like some type of big payout, you know, they might have breached those stipulations. This person is not a part of your soul tribe. Don't let them convince you that they are. Why is the Ace of Swords here? This person did things for money that they're not proud of. Yeah, they're going to be reaching out to you, reaching out to communicate to you. It could be on the 12th or the 3rd. Oh, today is the 3rd or the 5th, okay? But this person is hoping to get the outcome that they want by reaching out to you. Yeah. Now this person want to work with you, but honestly speaking, I feel like this person, they got the opposite of the Midas touch, okay? This person got the type of... of, of touch that whatever they touch crumble and that's because they've caused so much karma by whatever it is that they got to go to court about you know by problems that they caused in their family dysfunctions that they caused in your life like this person has racked up so much bad luck that they have to live out and it doesn't matter who they with whether it's you or somebody else that bad luck is gonna rub off why is the ten of wands in reverse I'm telling you, it's really because they want you, they want to rub their burdens off on you. They feel like you a way out. They feel like you a way out of all of this hardship that they going through. That's why they trying to be with you. They figure it to be the other way around. They figure your good luck will rub off on them or your resilience will help them get through what they going through. Why is the coffin here? I'm telling you, they could have got some type of money off of somebody passing away. Y'all, they got some type of money off of somebody passing away. All right, so I don't know what's going on with that, y'all. Let me see here. It could be a will and inheritance, but whoever this is, they thought they was about to take some money and go with it, and now they're facing court proceedings, and that's something that may be being asked to be returned, okay? Oh, boy. They may have to pay back what they done got from some will and inheritance. Alright. Let's hope that it's not nothing like they done, you know, like they caused somebody's death for some type of money. You know, let's hope that it's not that because it could be that serious. Alright, so let's see what's coming in for love for you guys. But this person, period, they done got themselves in a world of trouble. They could be facing jail time or just extreme debt where they have to pay back something. You know, being ordered by the court to pay something back. You get what I'm saying? And then they come in and see your life feeling like you can help them with their burdens. Rather they do that through working with you and getting paid, using your gifts, your talent, you know, and whatever else to help them out of a situation. You got to be careful because this person ain't nothing but a user. All right, what's coming in in the first half of February 2022 for Pisces as it pertains to love? What's coming in for Pisces as it pertains to love? So that's what I mean by you considering this individual. You feel like this has the potential to happen. You're trying to see the darkness. I mean, you're trying to see the happiness out of whatever has happened. But like I stated, this person has been studying you. They have. 
they've been studying so they know what you want to hear you got to be careful with this person because they very very calculated all right first kisses here so this person may come back talking about the first time y'all ever kissed or if this wasn't a, if this wasn't a romantic partner in the past they trying to come in and charm you with that energy like they want to be super romantic like you know when you have the opportunity of unconditional love not something that is conditional and with whoever this is the love is very conditional they choosing you because what they feel like you can help them do you can help them get through something difficult overcome something difficult because you overcame the difficulty that they caused in your life so they figure you resilient if you can overcome the difficulty that i placed in your path you can help me overcome you know and once again this person is trying to come in and give you a gift to redeem yourself okay so here's the thing hope and pray to god that whoever this person is <laughs> did not do nothing with a child like that they didn't get caught because this almost looked like a little kid. I ain't going to hold you up. All right. And then we got children here. That could be something that they going to jail for. I hope not. I hope and pray not, y'all. But honestly, I ain't never, when I, whenever I seen this combination, that ain't never popped up in my mind. But they could have did something inappropriate with a child. And they could be thinking that you going to get them out of it. But you're not especially not if you have kids you're not about to be defending nobody like this because this person is lustful it's like they hide it's like they hide the things that they lustful over and hopefully they didn't get this person pregnant man for real this person is running out of options because of the things that's happening in their life okay people are turning their backs on this individual they don't have the support that they once had but this person could have been caught grooming a, a young person. Okay? And honestly, I'm getting for those of you, the very little of you, where that's the case. It's because this it happened to this person as a child. So whoever this is, it's like they try to normalize that because of their experience. Why is maybe here? This don't have no maybe potential to happen. What you need to do is move on towards that emperor energy. Because whoever this is, they lustful. And it seems like they can't control their impulses. This person could be addicted to porn, pornography. You know, they, again, like I said, maybe they like younger people. Maybe it wasn't their idea to be a P word. You get what I'm saying? But maybe they used to not 18 19 and maybe they just went one number lower and i'm not minimizing that because it's not cool i got a 17 year old and i ain't even gonna mention on the internet what i'll do if somebody even think about kissing my 17 year old so i'm not trying to say it like that i'm just trying to say how it's coming from this person's mind they feel like they didn't do anything wrong but it's very wrong and one of the reasons why they feel like they didn't do anything wrong for those of you where that's the case you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, y'all, I, I, I don't trust this person. Why is maybe here? Yeah, this person is looking at you as a potential because right now they doing bad. They failed at something and they see you working hard and adding up your pinnacles. So this person coming in as, as the king of pentacles in reverse, this person is trying to disguise themselves as somebody that's so serious, but in reality, they have a hard time committing. They're not that grounded. They're not great with money. They either overspend, gamble, or they spend their money recklessly on things that are bad habits, things that you wouldn't agree with, okay? Social media, why is this here? Yeah, something about social media done really got them in trouble. You know, this person can be like a, a serial cheater, serial dater, serial internet dater. Yeah, had a lot of competition and beef going on online. It could be rumors being spread about this person online. This person is shamed. This person is shamed by their community. Their community has turned their back on this person. Why is first kiss here? I hope and pray to God this ain't no kid. Why is first kiss here? Because they could have been somebody's first kiss. Yeah, the fool doing dumb stuff. I'm telling you. <laughs> I feel like this fool is a young person. Or is this person being a foolish person? 
first kiss. Yo, magician in reverse. I'm trying to tell you, don't kiss this person. And here's the thing. It's like if they did something like grooming, grooming a child or something to that extent, you know, I don't even know what could have possibly happened, y'all. Because this is getting real dark, real deep, and real deep. And I know it can't be for everybody. But this can definitely be a situation where somebody got hurt, okay? It can be a situation where somebody got hurt with the Ten of Swords here. And the Magician in Reverse. Two of Swords. This person is battling demons, period. It's like they could be bipolar. They can have multiple personality disorders, psychosis, something to that extent where they're not mentally there fully. They're not. Okay? They battle in their light and dark side. One side of them knew better than to do whatever they did. And another side of them, you know, they feel justified or they feel like it's not that bad. You know, oh, well, she was almost legal or he was almost legal let's get one more on this full six of pentacles and first kiss because i swear if some type of child energy come out and this person is courtship in reverse whatever it is, i hope it wasn't the person they was in a relationship with his child if they was in a relationship with a person that had a team yeah let's see the full the six of pentacles and the first kiss High honor and reverse. Family room. This is something that happened at somebody's house. I feel like somebody caught them. Dog, it's abuse. I feel like it's abuse. It's some type of abuse going on. Period. This person wasn't thinking or they gonna say they wasn't in their right state of mind. Oh, man. I mean, it's not really giving me, but this person did something bad. All right. And it don't matter who it was to, but it was to a female, okay? Again, this can be domestic violence. This can be that this person did something to truly hurt somebody, hospitalize somebody, cause somebody to pass away, uh, seriously hurt someone. Somebody could have got stabbed here. You know, it could have been something over money. It could have been something over this person's reputation. But this person is feeling extremely guilty at this point here. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something that happened in the family home. With health in reverse, I feel like this person is going to blame it on their mental health. They might plead insanity or something to that extent. All right, so, yeah, yeah, y'all. This person got way too much going on. Okay, way too much. Why is uncharted territory here? Yup. Now they want to say that they unconditionally love you, but I feel like wish fulfillment is coming in for you because whoever this person is, they definitely, they got negative attention on their side. I feel like this person will ruin your chances of stardom or some type of celebrity future, okay? Because they, like, this is one of those situations where it's somebody that's very influential and they got a very negative partner like Phaedra. Phaedra is the first person that's coming to mind. She was a lawyer that was dating a, a, a ex-con. And it was always stuff going on in the media about him and stuff that he was doing, embezzling, stealing, just scamming, just doing stuff to ruin her reputation and not even caring. This is the type of person, if you try, if you like a positive person or a healer or something, you cannot be with this person because this person would drag your, your reputation would be dragged right with this person. Okay, this person's humiliation is contagious. Why is children here? Nine of Cups in reverse. And that's making me feel like they didn't get their way with a child, honestly. For those of you that that resonates with, okay, yeah. Oh my gosh, y'all, with the moon card here. That's like, this is our little secret. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm getting that heavily. I know that's not for every Pisces, but it gotta be for somebody. It has to be. Could even offer to pay this individual, you know, the six of cups in reverse. Like I said, this happened to them as a child. And it's something that they don't talk about. It could have caused like some type of narcissism within this individual or even sociopathy. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, ready to get out this energy. Whatever this person did, it, def it definitely wasn't right. Okay, that's what I will say. All right. Okay, for those of you where this person is not a P word, it's definitely 
that they could have had a child in a situation that wasn't meant to be long term and they was keeping that a secret from you and that's why they stayed away from you um and left you out in the cold and, and gave you the silent treatment okay but they ain't never stopped thinking about you okay so for those of you where that other story don't apply then that's the way it goes the way i just said it so i don't know about y'all but it's a big fat no <laughs> A big fat no to any mothers out there. Like, heck no. You can't come back in my house. Not with that. Not with that, miss. Let's see what y'all money looking like. Ooh. Okay, so what's coming in for Pisces as it pertains to their career finances, career and finances for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node, King of Swords, you're going to have to use your head over your heart at this time, oh gosh, finances, you can have a lot of people approaching you that want to collab at this time, multiple people okay magician in reverse but you definitely got somebody here that's trying to stop you y'all i don't know why love persists when i keep on asking about money but this keep happening what's coming in for pisces as far as their career and finances go but i feel like this person heavily affects your career and finances and that's why that's coming out what's coming in for pisces career and finances this person may also make you feel like you are not qualified to do what it is that you want to do. They may use like uh, some form of manipulation to make you feel like that, whether that's magic or whether that's just passive aggressively putting you down and making you feel like you're not qualified. And that can be hindering you in some kind of way or it's making you not enjoy what you do as much as you used to, okay? What else is coming in for Pisces? As a pertains to career and finances oh okay what was that ace of cups in reverse y'all might be switching careers i hope it's not because of whoever this is yeah or it's too much competition and drama when it comes down to your workplace or some type of project that you're working on okay you feel like you're not getting a victory when it comes down to work because too many people are combating you and this person is one of them and then they got other people in their life that's also on that whole wave so, yeah, you guys need, you guys got an offer coming in from that emperor. And I feel like that's what's going to lead to y'all success there. All right. Other than that, whatever y'all already working on that this person that had their hand in, it's like that's not moving to karma waters right now. You need to take a break away from that. All right. And take on some type of offer from somebody else. Now, whoever this person is, they coming in and they offering you work or a collaboration, but they really do have like a crush on you or they want to pursue something romantic with you as well. Okay. Why is the King of Swords here? Somebody can definitely be advising you on your next direction. Somebody that knows how to think from a logical place, not just from yeah this is internet okay so you guys can work on the internet you might be a motivational speaker yeah you got a new man that's coming in now i'm telling you this person is gonna mask their intentions mask how they truly feel about you but they trying to put you on career wise they trying to help you to do something that you love I feel like you've been basking in the energy of disappointment too much in what you're currently doing. So it's trying to it's time to start something new and then you can reapproach this with a new perspective on a later time. Why is the five of wands here? Yeah, you want to end it because it's too much competition and you're not getting what it is that you want out of it. Okay? And like I said, most of the competition is this person. Yeah. Somebody done abused their power. To get you to not succeed in what you're doing. That's why you haven't reached a victory with this yet. But that's why Spirit is saying, like, come back to it with a fresh perspective. Or just dodge a bullet. Maybe that wasn't for you anyway. But something prosperous is coming in for you. And it's coming in as a form of 
uh, another route. And it could be something that you also love to do. But whatever this is, you losing your zest for it because it done brought too much drama, conflict, and competition into your life. To the point where it's like you can't really enjoy it the way you used to. Okay? So, let's see what the spiritual lesson is from this. And then that's y'all reading for the first half of February. Okay, so let's see. What is the spiritual lesson for Pisces for the first half of February? Oop, y'all, I'm telling you, they keep falling on the floor. Okay, what was this? Radical rebirth. Yes, I'm telling you, they are encouraging you. Yeah, and speak up as well. Like, tell this person how you truly feel. Don't be trying to avoid hurting their feelings because you see she got harvest at her foot. All right, you need to you need to stand up for what you know is right. If this person did something, anything to harm anybody, whether it was a woman or a child, I do not care. But if this person hospitalized a woman in a domestic violence situation or if they harmed a child trying to fill their own desires, then you already know that this person needs to go where they need to go. They don't need you to defend them, okay? They need to do what they have to do. You are a master teacher. You know, or that's what you meant to evolve into. And in order to be a master teacher, you have to surely use your head above your heart and know when to follow your own directions, okay? Take your own advice, all right? We get in storms, oil. Oil takes away everything that's not meant to be. So that's what you divinely got it to do is to cut out anything, to eclipse anything that's holding you back and causing storm in your life. All right, we got intuition, and your intuition is telling you that. So stop ignoring it. Stop ignoring it, okay? And speak up for yourself. Tell this person why you don't want to deal back with them, which you have every right to not want to go back to dealing with them. Because this person causes problems in people's life. Grief, yes, this person caused problems and grief in people's life. So when you hear what this person did to somebody, or what they being accused of, then... You might feel some, I don't know, it might make you feel some kind of way. Of course, I mean, who wouldn't? I don't care if I don't even know who you are. If I'm watching on the news that somebody did that, that's going to invoke emotions for me. So, yeah. All right, though. Um, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.